That's totally me there. I <laughs> like that. Well, some people chose to turn Black Friday into White Friday in the snow at Ski Bowl's Tube Hill Grand Opening. That's what I would do. This looks yes. so fun. After a lack of snow last year, they're really hopeful for a better season, and we wanted to know just why they're so optimistic. We sent our Jennifer Dowling to find out. She's live up there now. Hi, Jen. Good evening, guys. Yes, there is snow up here. As you can see, I've got some of the white stuff in my hand. We've got about two inches on the ground of natural snow from our last snowfall. But as you know, in 2014, it was a really tough year for the ski hills up here. In fact, at Ski Bowl, they were only open for about two weeks on their ski lifts and their ski hills. And the tubing hill really carried the season for 2014. However, this year, they're counting on El Nino to come through for this Christmas ski season. Ready? All right, man. Three-year-old Hunter has big expectations for his first ever tubing run. Go fast. So first time out in the snow, and he likes it. Yeah. Kelly English and David Allen said this was the perfect time for them to return to the mountain to burn off some turkey. How was your Thanksgiving? I'm dead. And three. Two, one, go! With the nice weather and snow, some of the holiday weekend fun even went to the dogs, like this labradoodle named name? Jerry Alfonso. He's thinking about going down. Um, he chickened out last year, but earlier this morning he told me he was feeling it. So Kelly and David said a lack of snow kept them home last year. David, with a season pass, only skiing 10 times when he usually goes 50 to 60. It was unfortunate we'd go up and it would, it would, it would be raining. That's why he has never been, so this year we're hoping that we can get up and actually get him on his little skis and, and really kind of practicing. Hello. Are you excited about tubing today? Mm-hmm. Is it your first time? Yeah. Ski Bowl is hopeful this opening of the Tube Hill is just the beginning of a snowy season. We've always seen that on strong El Nino years, you get more moisture. So he believes season pass holders can get their money's worth. You only go three or four times and you've paid for it. More than 200 people had tested this hill as of noontime today, so I wanted to go as well. Woo, good ride. More than 600 people are expected to come down this hill by a close tonight. Two, one, go! Besides tubing, Hunter explained his other favorite part of the day. Deep in um, snowballs. He even threw one at our photographer before tubing off into the sunset. So lots of folks had a really fun day, of course, at the ski hill, and that's open till 11 tonight if you'd like to come out for cosmic tubing, which sounds really fun. As for getting more snow, we've been told that they're expecting a storm next week. They're hoping that brings two feet. That would be able to, that would help them, rather, be able to get those ski hills open. Back to you.